Hello everyone and welcome to CAM Technology Solutions. Today we will show you how to optimize your PC or laptop. At the end of this tutorial you will be able to uninstall unwanted software or bloatware that comes defaulted with your computer or laptop. You'll be able to disable startup applications, configure your power options. You'll also be able to increase your system response times by deleting useless files. You'll be able to perform simple registry edits as well as shorten your boot up times. To follow along on a particular topic check the description section under timeline of contents. Let's begin by uninstalling unwanted software and applications. First you go to your taskbar over to your start and over to your search menu. Type program it will auto populate and you select add or remove programs. Now in this section you can remove any application you will not be using. This frees up your hard drive space, your CPU resources, and your memory. And once you're done with this, I will uninstall bookings.com and my Dropbox. I will not be using these applications. I am freeing up some of my resources. This will actually enhance some of your response times within applications as well. Once you're done with that, we can close this out. Next, we will go into our startup folder or startup applications. Okay, these applications run in the background and they do the exact same as the uninstalled programs. They actually take up space in your hard drive and CPU and memory. You can just toggle back and forth to those and I would uh, suggest you go ahead disable the ones that you will not be needing. Next we will be configuring our power options. Go ahead and type in power. It auto populates. Select power and sleep settings. Alright we will go ahead and scroll down to additional power settings. Okay, now this in, this, in this example, we will be using a laptop, okay, because it provides a little more options, some more options for you, as opposed to just the PC. The PC do come with some sleep options, but it's only limited to the plug-in, of course. Okay, now within our laptop, we do not want our system to go to sleep. Okay, we want to turn all of the anything dealing with go to sleep or putting your system to sleep we want to do nothing okay let's select that option all right now this has to do especially with a laptop you close your lid it will go to sleep and you and with Windows 10 sometimes it goes to sleep and does not want to wake up so guess what you'll have to do a hard reset okay the lid closing your lid is exactly the same as our previous options of power settings okay we can go down this list alright you leave this defaulted okay you do not want to create a new power plan we will skip that choose when to turn off the display right here we want to turn off the display whatever settings suits you is fine. I would like five minutes only the display will go off but you do not want your computer or laptop to go to sleep. Okay, And you go ahead and you save these these changes you should be fine. Okay, It's the same settings as previously. Okay, we will close out of this. Next, we will go ahead and we will disable our sleep options within our power and sleep settings. We will leave our screen to also turn off after five minutes. That is fine or whatever time setting you desire. But when it comes to anything sleeping, let us turn those off or turn it to never automatically saves from here. Let's close this. 
Next, we will configure the way Windows will boot into your desktop so that you can see your desktop icons. Type in PC and we will go into your properties. Next, we will select Advanced Systems Settings. Choose Settings down at your startup and recovery. This is defaulted to 30 seconds. It will take to display your desktop. We want to change that to 3 seconds. You click OK. Click OK again to save these changes and you can close out of this. Next, we are going to use a tool called the ATF Cleaner. It is a free software. It is safe and it is verified and you can go to your webs to the website ATF Cleaner and download this. This is for the Windows operating system. Next, you will run this running as administrator. You will be presented with this main screen. Now, all of these folders store unnecessary files usually downloaded from the internet. This can cause your system to be severely slow and you can see in the example all of those files are now deleted. Next we will go into our registry. This is for advanced users. You run this as an administrator. We would like to go first to the H key local machine. You drop down this folder, go down to your system, current, set, 001. Click your control folder. You are looking for wait to kill service timeout. And this is measured in milliseconds. Okay, so that's basically five seconds it will wait for an application that is like either frozen or held in a state. You would want it to kill quickly. We would put that down to now 10 milliseconds and it will kill that particular service that is being hung up. This also stops all applications upon reboot within 10 milliseconds. Once completed with this task, you are finished with your optimization process. Let's close this and reboot your computer. If you have received any valuable information from this tutorial, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. If any tips of your own come to mind, go ahead and comment below as well. Share with the community. Thank you again for your time and stopping by Cam Technology Solutions.